That's right. We're in the Cisco kitchen this morning. We've got uh, Dustin Drago with us. He's one of our friends at Grimaldi's Pizzeria. You can find them at the Village at Meridian. Dustin, thanks so much for joining oh, us today. Yeah, good morning. Glad you had me on. Thank you, you guys very much. Have an awesome spot right there in the village, right we by do. the fountain. A great looking storefront there, and uh, obviously pizza. That's Absolutely. what it's all about, right? Yeah, it's our first location in Idaho. We're very excited to be here. We've been here almost a year, so uh, it's we're been glad that long that it has. Oh, oh. July, July seventh. Wow. We'll be celebrating a year, so. It's been a great time. It's been well received. I love the crowds here and the, and the people. But uh, today I figured I'd show you guys how we make our pizza. Yeah, it's really definitely. unique to the valley. So okay. uh, we start with uh, hand tossing our dough. So I got Which is the hardest part, part, right? It is. It takes a long always, time. I've so always wanted to learn. You kind of get use your knuckles here and you just want to kind of pull out as you do pull it. Pull out, out, pull out pull all out. the dough. The goal is to make it look like a circle like this. And we'll make a pizza here in a few minutes. So. How about trapezoids? Come on, does that work? Yes. Yeah, trapezoids will work. Remember I told you? I guess it'll still taste the same, right? See, you can oh, throw it up in the air. <laughs> See, pretty good, pretty good. Well, you guys come work for us if you'd like and, to later and today. You said yeah. to catch it on your fist because it would tear through if you, if you catch oh, it with a finger God. or something like okay. that. Oh, can you oh fix that's that? what we don't want to do. You fix that? No, I don't want to fix that one. <laughs> but I got one here that's already for us to go, so we will. Uh, we'll pretend we, like we did it. We pretend like we did. I don't that know. It's kind of fun. I kind of want to keep doing it. You can come by. You can come by any time and do it yourself today. So. Uh, one of the unique things about our pizza is we use a, a special mozzarella cheese that we hand slice and you guys will see. So we make all our pizzas from scratch. Okay. So when you come in the restaurant and check us out, you'll see a line of guys in the kitchen making pizza and it, it's a lot of fun. So this is our mozzarella cheese and we make it a little bit backwards, but you guys are used to, we put the cheese on first oh, okay. and it's hand sliced. Oh, so go ahead and throw some on there. Like we put the, this on before the sauce. We do. We put it on before the sauce. Is so. this like the creamier version of the way I, you've got it's it sliced? It's a little sliced. moisture. It's well, we slice it because the oven we cook in is a coal-fired oven. It burns at about 800 degrees, so it makes a unique charry flavor if you will so it's very traditional new york style that's where our, our roots of cooking pizza come from is right out of brooklyn new york you're probably looking and at us uh, like man you guys nah, are slow you nah, should nah, have nah, pizza nah. covered by now <laughs> not sorry this is just for you know this is for tv so it's okay speed's not important right now so uh, we get cheese on like that perfect and then uh, we'll make a pepperoni pizza this morning i brought some we use a special dry aged pepperoni for a year it's specifically made for us so uh, one of another quality ingredients we put on our pizzas so layer it on there as much as you'd like uh, kind of spread it out. Still not the sauce yet, then. No sauce no. yet. I'm, nope. I'm surprised. This is sauce goes on at the end. It's really kind of finish it off with the sauce. Yeah. No such thing as too no. much pepperoni. There isn't. Dump there that isn't. whole That's bowl true. on. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Now we got our pizza. The base of it already made. And I brought our uh, pizza sauce here. We use uh, San Marzano tomatoes, and we just kind of put dabs of it on because it has got a very great flavor. So you don't need, you don't need too much sauce on our pizzas to make it taste. Uh, Traditional. And sometimes, let's be honest, sometimes the sauce takes over if you spread it out too much and it just kind of overpowers everything else. So. Yeah, and we, the, the ingredients we use are pepperoni. It has such a great flavor that we'd like to just blend everything together in, in, a, in a great manner to create a, a really traditional New York style pizza. How about that? Thank you. You want to yeah, put some on? Let me try. Excellent. And do you have a lot of different flavors? Uh, we just have the t uh, two sauces, a tomato sauce and a pesto sauce. We've yeah. got a, a, Ooh, a, a like long sauce. list of different uh, toppings, green pepper, sausage, spicy chicken sausage, chicken, uh, oh. roasted red peppers that we roast in our oven every day. What, what other toppings do you put with the pepperoni on this pizza? Is it just uh, pepperoni? or this, do you We're just going to put pepperoni okay. with this one today. Okay. This is our basic pizza. So now that our sauce is on, we're also going to put a little Romano uh, cheese on there. Oh, so we put cheese. a little bit yes. like that on top. You can put a little bit on if you'd oh, like. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> no such thing. It's too much. Absolutely. We finish okay. our pizza with a little bit of oil. Okay. We throw that on top. Perfect. This is so yeah, unusual. I, had, I would never have guessed that that's how you guys well, make it. Let's garnish it with one basil leaf right in the middle. <laughs> so there our pizza is complete. Now we'll okay. throw it in our oven, which unfortunately we don't have here today, but we do have a, a brick oven that we Ooh. cook with coal, anthracite coal. It burns uh, extremely hot. Like how many pizzas degrees. can you fit in there at a time? Uh, 12 or 15 pizzas. Oh, a really wow. good pizza cook. So <laughs> it's, it's quite a production. We should, uh, we should build one right uh, down I'd here, I think. I'd, I'd, love to. <laughs> I'd come cook pizzas for you all the time if you had a brick <laughs> oven. So once in the oven, we cook it in there until it comes out and ends up looking like this. So. Oh, nice and fresh. Yeah. So we also have an array of salads. I brought some of our fresh desserts. We make cheesecakes in-house. We're featuring a blueberry cheesecake right now, which is, is, is unbelievable. It's my favorite cheesecake of the year. Well, um, let's, we let's talk more about desserts when we come back on the 7 o'clock hour then. Yeah. You got it. Over we'll on do. Fox 9, Spencer's we'll talk more about that. Let's go back to Grimaldi's. They're here in studio in the Cisco Kitchen. Dustin Drago is representing the restaurant that you can find there in the village at Meridian. Welcome back, Dustin. Thanks, and thank you very much. We had fun putting together that pizza. Yeah. I think we're well, pros, Julian. I was just going to say, you guys did such a good job. I brought some treats to reward you today. Oh, so, uh, yes. one of the other best part about our restaurants is we do uh, uh, all of our desserts in house, make them fresh every day. So, we offer a variety of cheesecakes. We carry four at one time and rotate them through differently. I brought two today. Uh, our special right, running right now is our blueberry cheesecake. Uh, toasted uh, oats on top is really good. Uh, I brought some 
forks for you guys oh, to yes. sample because they Julie are sample. First. So okay. go ahead. You know, when you when you dine with us, make sure you save a little bit of room for this because uh, that's the know. hard part. Everyone comes by and said, "Did you save the room?" Of course, I didn't save room. Everything's delicious. Well, so the beautiful <laughs> thing about pizza, you can just box them up and take it true. home. True. You can get about halfway oh, through it. So, so good. true. Yeah. All right. And you put blueberries that's, inside the cheesecake. Yeah, blueberries oh, in the cheesecake one. and then on top. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, we make them every day fresh, so it's uh, kind of one of the things we we pride ourselves on. Gamaldi's, we get fresh produce in daily, uh, make our desserts fresh daily, and the pizzas are made from scratch. So uh, that's a seasonal. Oh, Awesome. Be running for about another month. Okay. We'll have that in, in store. Uh, one that we keep on our menu all the time is our Oreo cheesecake. And this is by far my favorite. I've been yeah. eating it for seven years now. So That's all uh, you eat for seven years? <laughs> That's a great diet. You look yeah. great, man. No, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. It is my favorite. So, uh, but uh, Also, Oreos mixed right in. Oreos I can see. mixed right in. So we, we do, like I said, a variety of them throughout the year. We do Reese's Pieces. We do pumpkin cheesecake. Mm. We do several different ones. So as you come to visit us more frequently, you'll get to see it uh, more often. You know, we also send out emails and things like that to oh, let you know when the new know. ones are in. The new ones are in. Awesome. Uh, one of the traditional desserts that we carry uh, for, uh, for an Italian restaurant is a cannoli. It's a, it's a pastry with uh, some sweetened ricotta cream cheese. This is the one yeah. I hadn't had. You've never had that one. So uh, is this a fork, a knife, a, yeah, a well, eat with you your hands? You, you know, your hands this one I'm gonna let you eat with your hands. But I'll just break it apart for you a little bit right there. You can see all the cream inside, and go ahead and oh, grab a little yeah, bit awesome. of that and have some of that. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll still share. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry, Julie. So. Eat it with a fork. <laughs> Ooh, the ricotta makes you feel like you're yeah. still eating Italian, that's right? That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. So again, you know, we we offer a great desserts and great pizzas. Um, you know, so when you come visit us, make sure you save a little room for some of this stuff. You talked about getting email alerts of when mm -hmm. there's new stuff. How mm -hmm. can you get signed up for those? We, uh, when you visit us the first time, be able to go. Uh, we'll, you'll get a card where you can sign up your email in there. You can also go on our website, uh, GrimaldiPizzeria.com, and sign up that way as well, and you'll start getting notifications and, and things like that. So. And I know you're at the Village at Meridian, but you told us earlier one of the kind of fun parts of Grimaldi's is you can actually watch you guys making the pizzas. Correct. We, we use the display kitchen, so the, the mm -hmm. oven and the, and the pizza makers in the middle of the restaurant, all the dining tables are around it. Uh, typically okay. on a Friday, night the, it's lined with children so yeah, they like to get watching. up and watch the guys make pizzas so uh, it's a lot of fun it's a, it's a loud restaurant it feels very authentic it's, you know we got red and white checkered tablecloths it's right next to the fountain the village is a great place to be patio seating uh, as well right patio seating right, as well, right next to the fountain uh, you know with the summer concert series coming up it's a great place to come enjoy some of the concerts oh, yeah. over there so that's right uh, we offer you know full menu with beer and wine and, and pizzas and calzones and salads man so well, it's a great it's, time it's a complete package Dustin we appreciate you sharing that package here with us on uh, good morning Idaho in the Cisco kitchen we'll post all the stuff that I don't on your side.com so you can learn a little bit more about the restaurant. Again, Grimaldi's right there in the village at Meridian.